Imagine saying that. Imagine having a t-shirt saying that. Sleeper hold out of nowhere. Oh my goodness, here we go. The first count of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! And now Keegan Yamada has a special opportunity. He has a momentum shift opportunity. Will he be able to use it against the dead man? Oh, countered. Oh, what is this? Oh, Yamada could have had a chance to use the momentum shift while tossing Tigger against the ropes. So far, Undertaker is in the lead. Oh, sleeper. Oh, nice. Flying head scissors takedown by Keegan Yamada and an executed flipping drop kick with those gettas. Oh, wait a minute, there it is, there's that Japanese guillotine choke. I'm trying to put the dead man to sleep, I guess, but uh, again, there are no submissions in this match. You can wear down your opponent, by all means, wear down your opponent, but you cannot make them submit. Count of five this time. Ooh! He blinded him with that green slime, that green mist. Oh! Squash that kendo stick, putting him to sleep. Oh my god. Oh, he put him out. Technically, he had put him out. Keegan Yamada should have technically won this match, ladies and gentlemen. Keegan Yamada would have been a would have been 2015 King of the Ring if it were an actual regular match. But the reality is, oh shit! But the reality is, this is a last man standing match voted by the championship committee. I don't know if both men should be upset at that or be happy that we have this kind of match. But you know what? I've been calling the action here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling for years, and I am enjoying this. Oh, momentum shift back to back. One handed choke slam. Good grief. And that had no effect on Keegan Yamada. Oh, his back. His back must be out from that choke swam. So far, it is 2-1 for The Undertaker. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of, when the, of, the, of, the ref, of the referee's count. And this is pretty much false count anywhere. I mean, you can fight anywhere you want. You can be on the stage. You can crash through our announce tables again if you'd like. <laughs> you, can, you can literally, you can literally take this fight anywhere you want, as long as you incapacitate your opponent and have the referee present to make the ten count. The match, honestly, this match is anyone's oyster. Oh my God! Oh my God! Tombstone! Oh shit! Yamada is fucked right now, man. I think he's done. I think this is it. This is it, fans. That tombstone and a choke slam, and yet nothing. No count. Oh god. Oh my god. Yamada. You better be making a prayer. Again, there's no pins. There are no pins in this match. Ah, oh, Sakurama. 
Yeah, I would definitely. Oh my God, that that is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa! Whoa! After two tombstone pile drivers, now two choke slams. It's Yamada fights back. I okay, that's that's it for me right there, man. I can't believe it, man. Keegan Yamada actually fought out of two tombstones, two choke slams. Oh my god! Crowning him with a folding chair. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen. Here's your winner. The 2015 FPW King of the Ring is none other than the Dead Man. The Phenom of the WWE scoring the highest score of the night 596% The Undertaker is going to headline THQ Night a Night of Champions on Sunday June 14th as Father's Day ladies and gentlemen mark it down on your calendars Sunday, June 14th, 2015 is a Night of Champions THQ Night. All seven FPW Championship titles with the exception of the No Mercy title will be on the line. That means that Curse will have to defend that title against... The Undertaker and Brandon Wolf will have more news, more updates in the status of each of these competitors and more, ladies and gentlemen. For now, I'm Johnny Baba Ganoush. Have your pets spayed or neutered. And above all else, have your parents spayed or neutered. We'll see you, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good rest of the long weekend. I'm out of here.